Hi there and welcome to my channel and welcome to my garden. So it is finally a nice cool breezy day here on the Saskatchewan prairies. The um, temperature has dropped to the mid 20s about 22 degrees Celsius which is somewhere in the low 60s Fahrenheit. So I'm really excited that I can actually spend hours out of my garden during the day and not get too hot. So I have a lot of things to get done in my garden and one of them today that I want to share with you is the harvesting of my uh, potatoes grown in containers. So if you watched my video back in early May I planted up three different kinds of potatoes in containers and I did it two different ways. One kind of potato I planted in dirt just like a, a normal potato planting and the other two containers were covered with straw with no dirt so it was kind of like the roost out method in a container version. So we are at about a hundred days from planting. The maturity dates of these uh, three kinds of potatoes vary from 90 days to 110, 120 but they all seem to be uh, dying off here now so I think it's time to do a harvest and see what kind of potatoes we get. So the first potato that we're going to check out here is the Yukon Gold. And this one has a maturity of about uh, 90 to 100 days. So it has been a, a little over 100 days. So these should have some potatoes, hopefully. So this one here is the one that I planted under dirt. So I filled the pot half full, put three uh, seed potatoes in, covered it with dirt, and then I just mulched it with a little bit of straw. So let's see what kind of harvest we get here. So I can already see I got one, one baby here right on the surface. And it looks like I, out of the three potatoes, only two of them really uh, grew that well. This one is pretty small. So I'm just going to dump it right out into the wheelbarrow here. Now these potatoes went through a hard frost in about the third week of June, which was um, not very good. And another thing that I noticed about these potatoes is they never really sent out very many blooms. So I'm actually not very hopeful that there's going to be potatoes here and it's not looking good so far. Oh, look at that. There are some nice potatoes there. Look at that. You know, that's the one thing about harvesting potatoes that makes it so much more exciting than any other garden vegetable because you really don't know what you're going to get until this moment, right? It's not like tomatoes and cucumbers and peppers where you watch them grow and uh, develop. So there are my Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm very excited about that. That's going to make a really nice meal tonight. Okay, so the next one we're going to harvest is the Red Norland. And this one is one of the fastest growing um, type potatoes that we grow a lot here in Saskatchewan. They have a 90, 70 to 90 day maturity. So they're good for early potatoes. And um, I have to admit, I did steal a couple out of here a few weeks ago, just curious to see. Um, so these ones are the ones that we grew completely under straw. They were not covered in dirt. Three seedling potatoes were placed in here. I covered it in straw. And let's see what, what we got. So I'm going to just dump it out here and I can see that there's a lot of little babies in there. 
So I had put a few inches of soil in the tub and then just put the potatoes on top. And as you can see here, these ones have a lot of little babies that are still pretty small. So I probably should have left them. I thought maybe they would shoot down into the dirt and well there is a few in here okay so this one was not quite as exciting as the first there's my harvest of red norlands from the containers that were grown under straw okay so so far the uh, potatoes planted under dirt as opposed to under straw are winning this uh, test so far now this uh, third one that we're going to reveal is the russet gold rush these have the longest uh, maturity date I think it's 100 to 120 days so it's just kind of at the the early stages so I'm not sure what to expect Again, these got hit hard with frost. They didn't bloom too much, so I'm not sure what what to expect under this one. So this one again was under straw as well. So this will be the uh, tiebreaker to maybe tell us whether under straw method is uh, as good as planting under dirt in containers. Okay, let's dump it out. Once again, it's looking like pretty little potatoes. You can see those. Now it's hard to say maybe if they were left for another couple weeks they might have gotten bigger so these are the russet gold rush see if we can find any more in the dirt here I did find this year that my red Norlands that I also planted just under straw in the garden didn't come up at hardly at all like only a few of them came up so I don't know if they were just maybe bad seeds or what happened this year but um, it seems like these uh, Yukon Golds are the are the big winners this year so here is the harvest off of my three containers it kind of started out pretty exciting with these big uh, potatoes here and um, Kind of went downhill from there but i still think growing in containers isn't is a great way to grow potatoes um, i'm going to make sure i record all these results in my calendar so that next year i can uh, maybe uh, look at planting them under dirt not using straw and maybe the kind of potato that you grow under dirt or in containers makes a difference as well but we should get a couple of uh, good feasts of potatoes out of this harvest today. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the next video. Thanks for watching.